newest phase of the British Eighth Army's victory in Libya. General Montgomery, fighting son of an Irish churchman, directing the campaign that is hurling Marshal Rommel and his Nazi Africa Corps back across the desert in utter collapse. Past wrecked planes, blasted from the ground and from the air. 70% of the enemy's mechanized equipment smashed in its tracks. Through mud and muck, the longest sustained advance in military history. Dirty and begrimed, Nazi General Wilhelm von Thoma, Rommel's second in command, is captured by a British hussar. Arriving at General Montgomery's headquarters, the prisoner is ordered flown to England. Minesweepers, the engineers, are the real heroes. Using magnetic detectors, they go ahead of the tanks, clearing the desert of German-planted minefields. The magnets sound a buzzer when they detect mines hidden in the sand. Now, infantry to the attack. So swift is the advance that as these pictures are issued, news comes that Rommel's army has been split. Half his force is trapped. Passing ever westward through the smoke of battle, the Allied pincers close on Rommel as he races to join his shattered force with a Nazi army in Tunisia. Rear guards surrender one by one. Eight entire Italian divisions have been knocked out. Four of Germany's famed Africa Corps divisions are done for. Down the road, named for Italy's late Marshal Balbo, a procession of trucks loaded with captives streams to the rear. 300,000 prisoners taken by the British. Their days of fighting over. At El Aguila, where Rommel was expected to make a desperate stand, British fighting men see the tide of war turn for the United Nations as the Union Jack flies over Libya.